How's it going, everyone? Bass here. I knew there was a reason why I bought this jersey, this Rasul Douglas jersey. The Packers have just re-signed cornerback Rasul Douglas. Tweet was just put up by Ian Rappaport, and it states, Sources, the Packers have agreed to terms with veteran DB Rasul Douglas, giving him a three-year deal. He cashes in on his playmaking season. And I really don't think any of us expected Rasul Douglas to have the year he did. Uh, the Packers signing him off the Arizona Cardinals practice squad after week five. I don't think any of us expected him to come in and instantly pretty much get a starting role. He did that right after in week six, taking over that starting role for Isaac Yadam with the injuries to Jair Alexander and Kevin King, obviously. Um, and he never looked back. Russell Douglas finished with 53 tackles, only allowed 34 receptions for 360 yards. He had those five interceptions, which two of which he returned for touchdowns, including seven pass breakups, and only allowed a passer rating of 46.3. Three. And he really gave the Packers that veteran presence they needed on the outside at corner with Jair out. Now, obviously, the Packers did just gain a lot of money with that Devonta Adams trade, uh, nearly 20 above 20 million off the books from that Devonta Adams trade. Obviously, since he was the franchise tag, that's what that number was at. That comes right off the books, giving the Packers uh, enough money to resign Rasul Douglas today. As for his actual deal, it was just also put out by Ian Rappaport, and it says he gets a three-year deal worth 21 million, up to 25.5 million dollars max after being on Panthers, Raiders, Texans, Cardinals, then Packers. For 78 days, he gets paid. So as we see, that's a $7 million per year average. And then obviously that 25.5 max uh, uh, probably has to do with some incentives like Pro Bowl or interception numbers. And this deal also likely has a lower 2022 cap hit like every other deal has been uh, as well, allowing the Packers to potentially also resign their own in MVS and then maybe some other free agent wide receivers as well. They still have a lot of money to uh, use right now. And this Packers defensive back room is very, very talented. I'm so glad they got this deal done. Like I said, I knew there was a reason I bought this Rasul Douglas jersey. He just gave so much to this Packers defense in 2021. I uh, played so excellent. And now this DB room consists of Jair Alexander, who's you know one of the best corners, if not the best corner in the league. Eric Stokes, who really had a really good... Uh, rookie season and then Shamar Jean Charles of course an up-and-coming uh, young player that could be the future at slot for the Packers and speaking of slot this also potentially allows the Packers to move Jair Alexander around more if they want to throw him in that star role that Joe Barry loves to use that would then leave obviously Rasul Douglas and Eric Stokes on the outside and Jair at the star but I want to hear your thoughts, so leave it down in the comments below. I don't think anyone here is uh, disappointed at the fact that the Packers did re-sign Rasul Douglas. I'm very happy with that number as well. I think a three-year deal is perfect, and $7 million uh, per year average I think is also spot on. But that about does it for this video. Uh, like I said, leave your thoughts down below. I'll catch you on the next one, and as always, go Pack Go!